Manchester and Newington residents. So there's a really big backgammon scene there. I think it's fair to say that um, March will be the favourite, but Andy there with a 3-1 certainly knows what he's doing, making the five points. Well, that's so, the best opening uh, move yeah, you can have. That's a good way to start <laughs> a final. I mean, that, that, that's a big swing, actually, believe it or not, ladies mm. and gentlemen, to make these five points so early. Such a small move. It's only uh, four pips. Um, but it's to make that five point we call golden point so important. And look at that five three split there from Raj. Very three impressive. one point five three split, not five three point. Technically wrong, but probably tells us the way Raj is thinking about this game. Absolutely, he's not going to get those uh, two checkers stuck on the one point. He's going to make an advanced angle quickly. And you're quite right. Normally you make the uh, three point with the five three there. Um, so Raj has got the six one here. And he's going to want to hit him off that four point, or should be looking to hit him off that four point quickly. And here we go, four two, fantastic. Uh, double four would have been the best roll, but that's a great roll. So Raj, is getting, Raj paying already for this uh, aggressive move, but again it comes off. So we've got a quite an equalised game. Raj has got uh, a four prime, uh, making both his bar and five points, and Andy, Andy's got the uh, six five and four points. So what have we got here? I think this is a five one. This is a five one. Okay, well I'm, yeah, I think this is probably right. I don't know actually. I would have maybe played uh, 13 to 8 there, I think, and get a spare on the... Because uh, he's, he's now... The important thing here, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to try and make that... Making a bar point is so important for Red, and to have had a spare you know, on, on, on that 7 point would have been critical, in my view. Yeah, it unstacks, doesn't it? And yeah. puts the, uh, the man where you want to. This is a 5-something. Okay, so it's a 5-2 again, so this looks probably right. Maybe I, I actually make that checker safe. Raj's position is slightly compromised behind this uh, backboard. Is that a 6-4? It's a 6-2. It's one of those frustrating rolls that ah. looks like it should hit. Um, it looks like it should do everything, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. But obviously the 2.2 two away and 6 away is blocked, so he can't move the checker just in front of that one to hit. So really this is just a, it's the only sort of plausible play Raj had at that stage. And he knows he's a massive favourite to get hit. And this is a fantastic roll for Andy. 4-1, yeah, really good. That's, uh, Could have thought about the hit twice there on the point, I think. I have to say, uh, Sean, I, I have this sort of thing for... I love the formation, and I overplay right, the formation yeah, yeah, sometimes. No, I don't oh, oh, we've got the cube. Oh, this is and This is, this this is, is a, a snatch by Raj. Snatch. Yeah. <laughs> he's not turning this one down. <laughs> and I think that tells us there a little bit about how Andy is approaching this game. He probably right, he's knows so. that he's, you know, kind of um, you know, an underdog. Absolutely. Yeah, Raj obviously one of the strongest players, if not the strongest player in the uh, in the UK. And Andy's thinking, I'm gonna seize my chances as I can. And that's probably the right approach. Absolutely, I totally agree with his approach. And it takes a lot of uh, it takes guts to have that approach as well. Um, and fair play to Andy and, and it is one of the ways he will win this game. Um, Raj will be looking to try and keep everything as unvolatile as possible and Andy knows if he's got an opportunity he really needs to take it. This is a tough double four here, um, really not something, you know, so he, he, what he wants to do is get that spare checker out and he's now umming and ahhing, does he break his board? Um, I think he probably, uh, it's definitely, the, I think it's a tough move, I think it's definitely two down. There's a few I, things yeah. that leap out for me actually as a backhand player. You say he wants to get that checker out, he also wants to fill those gaps he's got on his bar point and his three point, which are obviously other things that the double four doesn't do. For yeah, him. no, it's a really bad role for Andy. Yeah, I think this, this must it's be good. the first two. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, That's well, good. he's already played a couple of them, so he's got to maintain that, that, that prime that he's got in front of Raj. So Raj okay, is going to okay. hit aggressively now, and this is absolutely right. It's important Andy comes in here. He wants to hit here. Does he, he? Well, he comes in, but he doesn't. Oh, he, he does, does hit. He does. This puts Andy in a very good position. But see how quickly he oh, this is double two. Oh, it's a beautiful wow. double the two. Wow. wow this is huge. <laughs> Four, six there, dance. Let's see if he can just get that man out. I think this does bring him out. I think this is a six one. And this Lovely. is where you were talking earlier about Andy seizing that chance. And now, here, now, this is important here. He shouldn't play that. I would have played uh, the, the one spare up and duplicated the threes there. Because Raj wants to be coming in on that three point if he can, because he wants to avoid the gammon in the long term. Um, so a little duplication missed by Andy there, but the position beautiful, isn't it? Oh, he's six prime in front of that anchor. The opponent on the board, he just wants to make the three point now and just mold this round. I think he has done that. Yeah. He has done that. Yeah, uh... and, and this is where Andy's, um, Andy's brave play when he, when, he, when he cued Raj is paying off. Um, you know, he could win four points here, which is massive when you're playing a seven point match. Um, and Raji's got some difficulty. It's a seven point prime, one better than a six point prime. <laughs> <Yes. of course. laughs> Overplaying his hand a little bit, maybe, Andy, at this stage. 
So what Raj has got a bit, the key things Raj is going to be thinking of here is he can't have his board crunch. He's going to want to make that four point as quickly as possible. And he's going to be trying to avoid the gamut. So these are the things that will be going through uh, his, his mind at this stage. Um, and I guess with Andy, he's just got to play his position quietly and just quietly dissemble those uh, checkers from outside, from outside his home board and bring them in quietly. Yeah, got a double five here. Pretty much plays itself. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty nice. A little bit strict here. I mean, Andy's not going to want to see too many fives with his next roll. Raj escapes that one checker, which is what, what he wants to do. Um, and now I think he's probably got a four. No, he's one got a three, four, I think. Three. It's a six. He's thinking about slotting the four or not. Now, and this yeah. is just about his immediate shots. He's thinking here, what's the position I want if he leaves the shot and I hit? And I think that's right. He's thinking, yeah. if I get the immediate shots, which he could have got there. Not um, with a double one. Not with a double, not with a double one. For Andy. This is fantastic. That's beautiful. So you look at all the spares he's got. He's got spares on his six, five, four, and three point now from Andy's perspective. So it's looking very good. Nothing blots. Nothing blots next go. This no, is, uh, there's no bad roll for Andy uh, from this point of view. And this, I mean, could it be a gammon? Could this start off with a 4 0 lead? Well, I think what we have to point out at this stage, uh, Raj has been on an amazing run, as we know. He's still in both the. Uh, the Pro and the uh, London Open tournaments, and that means Ross has been undefeated now for ten matches in a row, which is that that really is fantastic. Um, although, as we've just seen, was the first defeat of Julian Fetterline. It can be broken. It can. Julian got nine out of ten, and um, yes, he will be bemoaning that one loss. I can assure you. <laughs> but, uh, and knocked out, of course, by Andy. So, were Andy yeah. to knock out Julian, knock out Raj, Huge. what an amazing result yeah. for him. And will deserve his win every time. Okay, this is fantastic. He's cleared his six point, which is his vulnerable thing here. Right. Six five, of course, blocks now, but yeah, they, they, nothing you could do about that. This was obviously the right play. Uh, double, two, one, Something double small. One. Which should play fair. Small roles here are quite nice. Um, what he should be looking is trying to leave even numbers. Um, so that we don't fall foul of the double five and double six and things like that. Yeah, it's a, it's um, a okay, so this is that look, this looks good to me. Yeah. So Raj is now Raj is concentrating on trying to get off this gamut um, with also getting the opportunity of a shot. So this is why this looks like he's sort of vulnerable, but he needs to get these checkers around if he can. And having one there is no worse than he's only looking at double one, double two really the perfect. Absolutely. Is it, this is a t this is not a four two, is it? It's a I'd say it's a four two. Four two. Four two. Well, you, yeah. This, so it's two off. I think pretty easily, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think it's there. Uh, oh no, it was a four one. I think wasn't it? Four one. Yeah. And he's left an even number of uh, checkers here. So again, he doesn't have that many uh, shot leaving uh, rolls. Greens look a bit awkward. This is a three one. It is a three. It's a three one. Oh, this though. is he's nice. Just yeah. play it. Yeah. Oh, three two. Three two. Four three. Four three. Four, three. <laughs> we'll get there. We're not very good at counting. We really do need to get these dice sorted. Okay, so this is looking very good for Andy now. Uh, Raj is favoured to save the double here, though. Uh, well, well, he well now he is. is. This now. is huge, yeah. He, he is played now. that very quickly. <laughs> yeah, he, want, he wanted to save that gamble. So this is a good start for Andy. He'll be feeling a lot better about the idea of getting two points on the board here. Um, and to be honest, Raj is probably feeling pretty pleased that he's avoided the gamut. Yeah, no, it's interesting. Both players will feel quite good about the game, uh, considering how it went, yes. And I, I would imagine we'll get a... Uh, one of the things backgammon players will do in this position is mathematically probably improbable Raj can win this, but he won't waste time having to calculate it until he knows definitively that he can't win it. He'll just roll on. So whilst it may seem a little bit pointless at home, Raj just isn't going to waste any brain power calculating if he's going to lose or not. There. So Andy goes for a nice 2 0 lead. So the cube actually changes a little bit now, um, whereas Raj will be a little bit keener now maybe than he was in the previous game to get the cube action going, and Andy may be a little bit more hesitant. What I would suggest to Andy though, he needs to keep that aggressive stance with the cube going throughout this match pretty much. And I think that's what we'll see. 5-1 split there, so this is a 6-2, just again reasonably standard. Okay, so 5-1 I think. 5-1. Doesn't oh, five, five, two, two, one, two, two one. This two, is right two. as well. Double one. Very nice. So you'll see yeah. very quickly Raj plays this. He diversifies at the back and makes that golden five point as we talk about. Let's see. Uh, a lovely. Uh, he uh, pointed to uh, the, uh, the points he wants. Yes. Oh. Six two. Six two. Taking the five point. This is a four three. Four three. This is a, a tricky roll for Raj. Yeah. 
does want to leave any more blocks around and uh, doesn't want to come up uh, to get hit yeah, off the four point. That's right. I can see just about far and it's like a two one or something. It's a something with a one. Well, if this is 2-1, I think I'd be looking at making the advanced door an, an anchor on If it was, that's win. certainly what I would be doing, yeah, so maybe it isn't. Maybe it's 4-1 or something. Yeah. No, 4-1 played pretty well. It is It is 2-1, so I wouldn't have played this. No, I would I have made the advanced anchor. Definitely, yeah, I agree. But it's again, it's an aggressive move. What, what Andy's done is brought down a lot of checkers in, you know, to fire on his home board. So Raj is playing aggressively now and making a loose hit here. This is called a tempo play. This is a 4-1. Raj is, it was aware there that Andy had a, a strong position to make a board, so it was a tempo hit by Raj. He doesn't mind getting hit here. And Double again, he falls, goes, oh, great roll, huge. and he'll hit both. He will hit both. He's gonna, I guarantee you he's going to hit both. Yeah. I, he's going to play this. Yes, definitely. He's not going to No, no, I agree. I'm, I'm with you. Raj likes <laughs> it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's playing this for sure. So we need to see a two from Andy to stay really in the game. It is a two, it is a two. Wow, that's a big swing again. Okay, but one remains on, on the bar. Now Raj really wants to see a four here. Two fan. Two four. No, it can't be two four. Two five. Two five. Yeah, yeah of course I was. Yeah, yeah, be making yeah. the uh, advanced anchor with the four yeah. got the chance there. Interesting last game. So Andy's in with a one. It looks like he's probably got quite an awkward uh, second number so to play. It's a five, in. I believe. It's a five. Well, if it's a five, I really think he's got a slot of opponent to bar point here. I don't think. It's, I know. Five. Yeah, oh, he's I don't like this. It's a five. Of course, he's more scared of Raj than Raj is for him at the moment. Raj has got the better board there. It's still quite equal. There's nobody's got control of the game yet. Um, Five two. Five two. You're going to make the three point pretty quickly, aren't you? Um, yeah, yeah. Which is exactly what he plays. I think this is right. Five five. Okay, so this is a. Awkward. But he, well, he's going to be looking at running those back two checkers out, I guess, isn't he? <laughs> Oh, he can. Sorry, yeah, it's five yeah, five. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm losing. Of course, he can. Not so, awkward at all. This is a great roll. <laughs> this is a great roll. <laughs> so Raj will play. The, these yeah. are the easiest two to play. The next two are more difficult. And I think he's going to play thirteen to eight and then bring that spare checker in. I'd be tempted to make the three point here. So it makes the four point board. No, no. you're right. He's going to. Okay, so he's he's gonna looking at this. this. But it may be his second candidate play at this stage, so he just wants to check it out it's before he plays your play. In the for me. Yeah, I think you may be right. Play. Yeah, I think you may. I play. think this is a better play. Yeah, and what Raj has done correctly here is to look at the second candidate play. Ah, oh, but he's gone back, so it's unsure. So you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, even the greatest players, you know, have some really difficult decisions. And he goes with my play yeah, here. Okay. Yeah. Four two maybe. Possible to bring the monitor just for a bit. That was a 4 3 for Andy there. That really is quite, uh, that was quite a difficult. Uh, no, okay, so Raj is now oh, doubled now we've here. Got the cube. And this is, um, this is a difficult now take for Andy because Raj has so, he's got so much control here. And Andy's board is stripped, and, but he's only, and he's got three blocks on the board. This is definitely a situation, it looks to me like it's a double take, I have to say. Uh, but I don't, as, as Red, I don't want to see this cube. How are you feeling about this, Sean? I've got to take this. Yeah, I think you have to. Zoe? Um, it doesn't feel, often when you're given the cube, you're in a position where it feels very dangerous. And this doesn't feel quite so dangerous, so I think I'd be tempted to take it on those grounds. <laughs> <laughs> He's and he not turns taking it down. No, I don't. I, I'm, I'm surprised to see that, actually, from Andy. I, th I think what's interesting here, though, maybe this has something to do Maybe this has something to do with the game plan on Andy's behalf. He wants Raj to work very hard for his points. So Raj only earned one point there, and he didn't want to give Raj four points uh, in that opportunity. But I think it is a technically definitely a take. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I, this is a full two, so I can actually. I think we can see the dice a little better from here now. So this is good. It's a straightforward move. And make four point. Double four. Wow, huge. And here, yeah, this is. Right, very so nice. So very important that, that Raj makes his opponent's five point, five point there rather than his own. This is a 4-1, I think. It's a 4-something. 
control one. This, this, is, this is correct, yeah. Uh, he does need to think about splitting those back men oh, pretty this quick. This is three one, which is very nice from Raj. So and if he had split the back men, of course, then that uh, wouldn't have been such an easy play. Yes, absolutely. Because exactly, because you'd now be able to, so you you, you would freeze the man on the eight. Now Raj is going to think about the cube here. He's, yeah, here we go. This is a tougher cube than the last one, I, I, and I. I well, I would have thought, thought about longer that. than that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, about that cue. I'm still not sure. I need more time to think about that one, I have to say. And look at this, Raj is moving quickly now. But Andy's almost looking at double two, double six, six to save I his think game. This is a six four game. <laughs> so he's got to make the two point. No, he should act, maybe he should actually make the um, bring what, 13 to. Uh, 13 his big to problem. Four. Yeah, his big problem is obviously getting these back checkers moving. So what's Raj throwing here? Is this it's a six, six four? four. So Raj doesn't want to come off his anchor quickly here, but it may well be the thing that he has to do. Um, he plays, this is an awkward role for Raj here. This is very nasty. Because he can't play the spare off his 13 point, which is quite often what you do in this I position. think he can. He can slot the three. You think he'll slot the three here, which is very three. aggressive? I think he'll slot There's the some three. duplication of slotting the threes here as well, because if you look on your opponent's board, um, he would need a three to cover that block in, 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 in red tone board. So that will also be going through Raj's mind, the duplication factor um, in terms of uh, the opportunity here. And you can play a lot freer here as white because you have this strong anchor on the five point. Anchor, absolutely. Yeah, I think you may, so yeah, Raj wants to think about this now. Well, he might also just play nine to five then. He could do, yeah. And, and look at that, that slot, if he, if he can make that, that his own seven point here, uh, it puts him in a really, really strong position. But you're right, Sean, you put it spot on, yeah. And if, oh no, no. <laughs> oh no. no. I told you you might think about this. <laughs> I think he's going to slot this. I, it looks better. Plus, he's got sixes and threes that, that, that cover this. I think this is absolutely right. 4 1. Or four six, one. Or six, one. Four one or 6 1. So, unfortunately, Andy doesn't get his two, which is really what he's hoping for. Do you see there's any? That's it, too. I think it's 6 1, actually. It's 6 1. I think there's six. nothing else to play really here. 2 1. So, well, no, and he's, oh, now and he's in chuck trouble. 6 5. 6 5. He's got he's to go. Run out. He's, he's got, got to run out. Go. This, is, this is a no brainer, gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it, you have to, and you have to be brave. You don't want to when you're going to fight. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. This, I think, ladies and gentlemen, could be called a slow death if, uh, if Andy doesn't get a double six, basically, or, or a lucky fly shot. He's not going to get direct shots too often. And what we're going to see, that's three. a 4-3. Um, he's going to gradually run out of other things to play. Absolutely. You see, if he'd had that spare on the on, on, on the 13 point, he'd just be bringing that quietly home. Uh, now he's got he's leaving a lot of shots. He's leaving six, ones six, and eights. Um, you know, so this is not good. 4-2. Okay, but you see, even when so, Raj doesn't roll a great roll, he needs here, to hit the fly shot here. Yeah. He's it's double two. It's not six two. <laughs> yeah, six two or six four is what Andy needs. Double two is a horrible roll for him. He can't make that ace point, which is what he's looking for. Um, but he really does. Um, yeah, it's, and it stems back to that six five, doesn't it? Um, it does absolutely. I mean, he he, he just had to see what he needed to do there. And look at this, this is a really a bad uh, okay. situation for Andy. He's got very little timing. Five, Last, three hits, oh, five, huge. three hits. Now we're suddenly into uh, gammon territory, ladies and gentlemen. So Andy's going to need a one very quickly, and Raj is going to bring this home very quickly. What you'll notice here, ladies and gentlemen, is Raj will spend quite a lot of time avoiding problematic dice going forward, like double six, and he'll be looking at putting his spare checkers on the six, five, and four points to increase his flexibility in terms of the take. I think this is a really important part of the game where you know you've essentially won the game, but you have to uh, get that bear off position. And it's very technically difficult as well with some of the roles. So Andy's still on the bar. It's getting that balance right, Marcus, isn't it, between the aggression and the bear off, between immediate safety and long term safety, and it's difficult bearing in. It, it, it is. And I think it's one of those positions where you just have to play it a lot. Um, to understand when to make the right move and when not to make that, that, that move in, in slightly different positions. So Raj is uh, gammon possibilities. So now if you look here, he, well he's going to leave double six here um, and, and leave Andy a shot. Um, but it's, pro it's his only... Okay, so he's not. So I'm sorry, I didn't see the next rule. So that's what Raj is thinking if I roll double six. Uh, and I think double five plays okay for him. And, and it's this beautiful kind of... Um, 
way of effect. weight absolutely yeah. coming in, so, uh, which Trice talks about. In, yeah, in very in important. Building. So this is why Raj is taking a lot, quite a lot of time with what you see, and this is a beautiful formation. He's got spares on it, as we talked about, his 6, 5 and 4 points, and on his 3 points. And he's in. Actually, though, Andy has been able to keep his board by dancing so long. Yes. So it, it kind of gives with one hand and takes with the other, doesn't it? I like it? your Thank positive you. thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a double one. So, I mean, do you just try and hold on to the board here and get Andy to crack? I think... I well, think so obviously Andy really wants to six it. Yeah, but if you look at the, the yeah, you know, he desperately. Or you just got the, to the, you know, the clear this play. Yeah, so this this leaves uh, nothing. Nothing, and clears the six point, which is um, one of the priorities of this position. This I don't like it. Doesn't really. feel right. No, particularly no. if you can get the guy to play. No, I, I prefer this move. <laughs> so this does leave six five. This leaves double six, six five, oh, double five. No, double five doesn't block. No, it doesn't. It doesn't because you're okay. Well, this is a double one. This is a nice Fantastic roll, actually. Roll, yeah. yeah, very nice. So six five. Six two. Six, six two. two. Lovely for Raj. He clears that six point. He's got lots of spares. No, and he needs to get out. He Another has double it. one. Another double one. Well, it plays okay. Well, this well is double easy. one is yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's fine. fine. So six five, five four. Six two. Six two. This plays nicely. Now Raj will be thinking about the gammons here, um, but plays this correctly. Raj. Now you've got six four oh. five four, but now down to a four point board. So, so five one, it pays itself. Okay, so Andy really off. needs to get a move on. Yeah, here. he needs to save this game if he can. It's really, really big. Big doubles block for Raj here. One of the reasons we talk about how important it is for Andy to save this game is because if Raj goes to five two, you know he could win this whole tournament in the next match. Absolutely, so really key um, from his perspective. Oh, this is and it's going to come out with one now. Oh, is that double six? That's double six. Is it? Oh, huge. Well, this plays itself. Yeah, just you've it's got to come in and then it's going to come out. It's going to come out, come so out with both. That, yeah. uh, this is right. This is right. Yes. Raj would be a little bit disappointed to see that done. <laughs> His killer instinct would have been when, coming in. When there. you say little bit, he's <laughs> yeah. okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like Andy saved this gamble, which is really important. Um, I don't think there's any role here that he doesn't say yeah, this. Yeah, and Raj is... Uh, Raj and that is, that is huge. 3-2, not 5-2. That yeah, is a is, big, is massive. big difference. Yeah. You know, Andy will still be feeling quite confident in right? um, You know, he's only one point behind. Um, and, and, and at the moment, he's still one point ahead because Raj hasn't put the score up. And this is an important thing. You should always... Yeah, so, so Raj is there quickly. He's, he's at 43%, not 25%. <laughs> assuming huge. equal players. Yes. But, uh, you know, that, that is a big, massive big difference. Sweep. Massive sweep. So we're off again. It's interesting, I, if I'd been Andy, may have taken a break at that stage, just to regather my thoughts maybe, uh, but he's, he, he, he's off again. Uh, Raj did a normal split 2-1. Two, two, one. and now we're seeing a double two. Ah, oh, big roll. So this is right, and he should play, he should make the 11 point. Is it a straight step? No, this is really bad. Oh, no, no, not good. Not good. 6-5. Yeah. Standard move. And I think one of the reasons Sean, five two, so. one of the reasons that Sean and I didn't like that double two move. You look how stripped. It's very difficult for, for Andy to, to cover that block, and there's no cohesion to his board. We've got lots of gaps in the board without checkers there to to, to fill them. Um, but I, maybe Andy's idea is he wants to um, restrict Raj's ability to play his role. You never know. Oh, it's a five three there. Five three. This is a double five. Right. Well, this looks standard to make the three point rather yeah. very quickly. Number four, I think. In which case, this is a nice roll. A fantastic roll. Yeah. These two. And you can cover. Yeah, this is great. And but look at these gaps that we don't like. But this double four, we're going to see the cube. We're going to see the cube. Yeah, well, I just we are going to see. He's, this we is are, definitely a double. This, he's going to keep this. Well, whatever think, he is going to. Keep I think this. the difficult question is, is, yeah, he does. Is it a take up? Now this is tough for Raj because yeah. what he's thinking is, I know this is technically a take. -up. Yeah. I mean, ten checkers in the zone. He's got the man on the eight. He's got the main three point. I think this is technically a take. -up. Feels like a take. -up. He's taking money. But there are two points here. Raj is three two ahead. And we'll be factor, he'll be factoring in the score here, and he'll be factoring the, the ability of his opponent right. and trying to adjust that technical easy take. So whilst it may be technically easy take, Raj then has to factor in the score and his opponent. Well, I'm looking at it again, and this is the problem with commentary, is it, it forces you to snap judgment. Yeah. But I'm looking at this again, here's, here's why it's not quite so... There are ten checkers in the zone. No. And Raj yeah, has turned it down. But 
the ten checkers in the zone and the escaped back checker and the immediate two to hit the second block. I'm actually thinking now all of those could well be tipping that. And plus, you're quite right, Vaj doesn't want to see big gaminish cubes. No, he wants you sat on the bar, you can't play better than your opponent because you just sat there with no opportunity. One of the things in Raj's mind for sure is he's happy to swap point for point because he knows with checker play of a seven point match he is he, he's got a good chance of winning it. So and a little bit like Andy's decision last game, but this is a trap a lot of backgammon players fall into um, when they drop big cubes um, and they don't realise how much they can turn them around and it's, it's, it's quite a difficult um, thinking process to get your head around when you don't want to lose four points. Interesting to see Raj there thinking uh, quite hard about how to play his opening 6-4. Six, four. Six, four. This is a 6-3 and he should just split the three. This isn't right. No, he should come right. off the back here, yeah, absolutely. Um, it's interesting the themes that come out. So splitting at the back and coming up at the back has been a big theme of all of the games we've seen. And a lot of a lot of um, commentators saying it's something that um, less experienced players miss. Yeah. They often miss the splitting at the back. This is a nice role for for Andy. He, he's got a bit of an outside front. Oh, this is huge double two. Is this double two? This is double two. Wow. Nice. I mean, backgammon, so you, you know, it's, it's essentially a racing game. And your really big problem at the start of a backgammon game is that you've got two men stuck on your 24 point who are just all the way back. And, the, you know, one of the key goals of the opening theory is to get those two men connected to the rest of the army. And obviously the, the split allows you to do that. The quicker you can split, the less danger there is in splitting because your opponent hasn't got too many men in the, in the zone. And you make that advanced anchor, which is so, so you can play risk free in terms of gammons, and you put your opponent under a lot of pressure trying to bring his checkers around. Absolutely. Which is, of course, exactly what Raj did there with his double two. And that double two by Raj a couple of moves ago has really set up a fantastic position for him. And, uh, and he's now beginning, this I think a, it's a 1 4 or something. I'm this, guessing. this is a double two. He's come a double two. two. So he's coming with a two, he's going to make the four point. He'll make the four <laughs> points here. Yeah. Right, so he's just got to move up on the back, there's no other option. No, no. So he's got quite a nice looking board, Andy. But uh, yes. so Raj this is, is going to be looking one. to make uh, the five point. This, makes, five point does, this does make the five point, but leaves the direct shot. Um, what have we got? Five one. Five one. I think Raj will make. Raj is always very keen to make the. I just look at the double hit here. I would look at the double hit, which is what he's thinking, isn't it? He's got a lot of firepower, as you say. Um, he's got a lot of checkers in, 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 in that danger zone. There's eleven checkers in there. I'm making. I'm making the double hit. Here. Raj is going to make the five. Making the five is of course much purer. Keeps the game going longer. All of those good things. Yeah. But the double hit's right. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you have the anchor. I think, I think, I think the doubling. The, the, you know, this is just, just look at all those checkers in the fantastic. zone. Like the yeah. guy is just. Raj can't help himself. I think it's the right play. You say. This is for something. Oh, he hasn't danced. Oh, oh he has wow. danced. Oh, this, now, this we're going to see. Too the, good. Could this well could be, be too but good. I think we're going to see the cube. Do you think? I think we're going to see it. Well, just look at the. Raj uh, knows he's too good, but he's going to cube. The so shaker action there. Raj was ready to roll, and suddenly you could see it register that uh, Andy danced, and uh, suddenly the shaker went back down. Well, it was very unlucky on Andy. I mean, there were only three rolls: double six, double four, and six four um, that, that, that caused that uh, situation. This is too good. The uh, gammon price here is nearly yeah. twice what it is for money, and he's got to drop this like a stone. And this is what this we call is. cashing. So Raj yeah. has said, I, I think this is too good, but I just, I'm going to take my point. Um, I have to say I would play this off. Uh, and of course, remember yeah, that, yeah. that Raj is... is and there we go, and he's dropped it. Well, good box. Raj is a sophisticated player. He may be thinking, this is too good, let's see if my opponent will take it. Yes, this is also true, the sort of bluff cube um, that you put, put across there. Because um, if his opponent takes that, you know, Raj could have won the game, uh, the, the, the tournament on that one game. And, and players are very tentative now. When you get four, four points away from winning a tournament, um, in terms of taking cubes that are, that are gamish, you know, people can make some very difficult decisions and get them wrong. Look at that six-two. You stop wow, with the five for the six-two. That's again not right. I mean, it's just you know. yeah, double three. This is huge for Raj. Massive control for Raj within the first row. He needs to. Yeah, make that's that. a five-four. And that's horrible. Let's hope he doesn't make the ace point here. I hate making the ace point early on here. So this is where he played the. Oh, he's not going. I hate this play. I don't know. If it was at all possible to make the board a bit bigger on our screen, that would be enormously helpful. And it's not. <laughs> I'll keep peering at it then. Six so Raj has there. made a yeah, nice point. 6-4. Well, I think he's got to run this off the back again. He might look at making the two point. Uh, I don't think so. Not with the, uh, not with the advanced anchor. He's, he's got, he's to, got to run this. This is absolutely right. So Raj would like 6-4 in return. 4-1. 4-1. Uh, 
So I suspect Raj is going to make the A point here. This is a very nice point to make. Yeah. Lovely formation, lots of flexibility, no direct shots from that back checker. 6 3 maybe. Well, 6 3 is um, you're going to be bringing this spare checker um, off the 14 point. Yeah, he brings this down. I think this is right. I think this is probably right. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just had a little look about moving the man off the 24, leaving the double shot yeah. in the week, but I, it doesn't look. Uh, no. Double fives. Oh, wow. Now this is really important decision. So Raj has got to think about the race here. Because he's got a lovely hit um, and, and unstacking that six point and, and getting those spare checkers off there. But the run, but the race is so. Raj is going to have a big, big race lead after this. Yeah. So here's his, here's what Raj needs to think about now. Well, he's going to think a little bit about kind of the efficiency of the cube. Next go. Can he just bring the guys around, cube the guy out? I don't know. Um, can he just attack him? You know, I mean, you know, just. He's all, all, all on pit cam. I can't actually make a decision here until I understand the pit cam. But I think Raj may well run those two uh, his back anchor, especially as they're pointing on that that open five point, um, which uh, so it make, only six five escapes that 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 one checker advantage. Um, very important. And I think the key thing is here: Raj is prepared to take a lot of time and use a lot of brain cells and a lot of energy to make this move right. It's a big. It's interesting as well. I think double five is one of those doubles which plays quite difficult. It's, it's the most difficult double. You've got 20 pips to move, and you can make some big blunders if you don't get it right here. So Raj is going for the attack. It's 137, 140 before the roll, so that was um, close. So. Um, and he's in on a five, that's good. He did go for the, yeah, yeah, wow. he needed that. Raj, now, well, Raj is looking at this, and he, he should be looking at this, even at three away, four away. I don't think he'll cube this. I, I, I agree with you, but I, I mean, he's definitely going to look at it, and I mean, he's right to do that. Is this making his opponent sweat, do you think? Oh, yeah. Could he put a bit of psychological pressure on Andy oh, to yeah. think? Could well be. We've now got the folded position of Raj. He's folded his arms as he's thinking this one through. I can't believe he's going to double this. There are, of course, exchanges that will put him in a very strong position yeah. next roll if he can hit. So he doesn't dances. double. It's a 5 1. So he's, he's definitely hitting. hitting. And I suspect down he's going yeah, to Yeah, definitely. Because yeah. he wants to cover this 5 point foot he doesn't want to break his anchor. Big roll for Andy. What's he got? 6 1, 6 1. Uh, and this is now too good, obviously. Way too good. So Raj is going to be wanting a 4 or 3. 6 5. Oh, this not is not good. So good. This is a bad roll. So I think this is pretty straightforward and come off the uh, off the anchor. Yep, there yep. you go. And he he's praying for a he five. He needs now. that five. Has he got it? No, no. doesn't look like he's done. Start oh, zero, he's dear. Two uh, one covers. Yeah. So it's two six from the bar. We suddenly need now. Um, this is what Andy needs. Oh, he's got the two. He's in. This is this is big. Two ones. Two, two one. one. Oh, the, oh, the one's one is difficult. All good. <laughs> it's very difficult. So what's he going to play here in terms? This is uh, a tough roll. He'd almost like to send the one back and just move the I mean, two at the stage, isn't he? He's just going to play A7, isn't he? So, or, I mean, he could play 3 2. I hate that. I'm going to play no. Or maybe he plays 13, he 13, play 13 three, 12. Two. No, I don't like this. I don't either. Yeah. Could be so right. Raj would want to sit here. This is a 2 got, 1. Oh, this is pretty good. So Raj has now got a, an efficient um, broken 6 prime, so uh, Andy's only got 5s to get out on. There's something like really nice, like 3 2 here to exploit the double blossom. And board. the problem with Andy's great really yeah. laugh move is he doesn't put any pressure under uh, uh, Raj under any pressure because Raj is looking as a smashed ball with blocks yeah. in it, um, and, he, and, and he really needed to keep Raj under some pressure there. You were back to the kind of concept of beauty in backgammon, and you often look at a position like this, and uh, strong players like Raj can make these amazing positions. Um, uh, rather than ending up with something that's a bit of a mess. It's not exclusive, sometimes obviously there's nothing you can do about it. So Andy really is in a position for oh, six, six, four. Like six, six four. so Raj is definitely hitting here and I think he brings this one in to give himself as many covers as possible. Yeah. Andy has to get a two here, he has to get two, a two. Six. One six or something, as well. no twos in there. And it looks like Andy's... Three two, so okay, this, this is, is the close out now and... Uh, this should be plain sailing for the gammon for Raj here, I'm afraid. Yeah. This is, uh, oh, this is big. And, uh, yeah. And this is something where um, Raj is obviously not harking back to that double he didn't make because you don't want to be put off your game by thinking of things that could have been. Um, it wasn't right to double, but obviously if he had, he'd now be looking at winning the match. But, I, but also, but part of the reason for not doubling is the overshoot here. 
Raj doesn't need eight points, he only needs seven. And so one of the key reasons for not doubling that. And it's one of the most difficult positions is to understand when you're three away, uh, because of this overshoot and because of his opponent only being four away, very difficult few decisions to make on both parties. So Raj is um, unstacking his six point. I mean, the gammon here, really, Andy is just relying that Raj gets very unlucky and needs a shot, and Andy's going to need some, some, some real luck. Here. So again, he's leaving this even number at the back, so he has no bad roll with him. Maybe 1% on the half percent backgammons, maybe even a yeah. bit more here. Your house so. is back on the game. Is right? it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is um, six ones, what Andy's hoping to see from Raj. Oh, six, five, four, so he clears. Andy wants double six pretty quickly here. Um, it's, it's, it's one of those horrible situations, isn't it, Sean, where you just know you're playing for, for such little equity from Andy's perspective. And this is this is gammon, I'm afraid. I think so. Andy, oh, is Andy it is a double six. It is a double oh, six. Oh, massive! But Andy's still got still, what he's got yeah, 14. 10, 14 cross, 15 crossovers just to get off the, yeah. the gammon. Whereas Raj is already uh, so Raj. This is another double. Wow! This is. I know it's nice. Yeah. Okay. He needs doubles every roll now, ladies yeah, and gentlemen, to save this gammon. And it is huge to save the gammon here, but I don't think he's going to do it. So Raj is likely to go to Crawford here. So he's going to be one point away. Um, and um, interestingly, he's going to put Andy in a difficult position where he's actually going to want to score. He's going to be gammon go at three away because it would give him the opportunity to win the, 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 the match of the next game if he gets it. And Raj is going to be on gammon save. So we're going to see some quite interesting checker play, I think, in the next move because of these gammon variations. And very difficult checker plays on both parties. I think that's right. Obviously, um, from one away, four away, assuming equal players, that would be about 18.5% um, winning chances. I think Andy needs to give this up now. I don't think he can. He has. Uh, but he also shouldn't checkers. be thinking too much about it. He should just be, as you said before, just shut the for checkers in. What, what are you, you know, kind of. You know, why, why spend your brain power here? You know, it's uh, a waste of time. Well, there's an easy calculation. It's just about check It's just about crossovers. And Andy, um, Andy can't do it. Uh, Raj has four crossovers, and so does, uh, so does Andy. Um, so, double six here. Unfortunately, Andy's seen that now. He moves on. Okay, so quite an, an interesting game coming up here. Um, as we say, because of the score, so Raj moves to, to one point away, and Andy's um, two points away. But Andy at four points away. Andy will realise he is only two games away from taking this off. So he won't be giving up, and will be fighting hard. But it's really the most important thing Andy has to realise here is Gal and Go. Um, and Raj will have to be a little, a little bit careful about not, not conceding the game. It's not a massive price, but it, there is a price. He's, he's only two games away if he wins a game. Yeah. <laughs> if he wins a single, he could be another couple of games away. Yeah. So what have we got an opening here? Is this, uh, this looks like a 6-2 to Raj. And he's thinking about this because of this it's game. A, it's a 6-4. 6, four. A six, six four. Four. I don't need to be thinking about six, No, he'll six. just be running out. I know. Yeah. He plays a straightforward play here. But he thought about it because of the gammon. He doesn't actually want to promote contact, but he played the right move. 5-4, I think. 6-5. Okay, 6-5. Six, 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 this five. is the right obviously right. Great, you know, yeah, yeah. So the gammon um, comes into it quickly. Oh, not Raj four, only comes it? with 4-6. 4-6. 2-1 or 3-1? Well, 2-1 well, or 3 one's easy. Both, just, yeah, just got to make five, five point. point. I think so. that's what it is, though. I, mean, I think it's a 2-1, and I think he's he just... Don't, don't, yeah, this is too yeah, this Just is don't good. overplay yeah, it, absolutely, yeah. 4 yeah. 3, yeah. so he makes the anchor. Now, now this is where the, uh, the gammon thing this. comes into it. Yeah, normally you probably hit here, uh, but the gammon thing comes into it, so I, don't think, I think you're absolutely right, Sean. I don't think he will. come down here. Yeah. Especially because Andy, who talked again, hasn't got those, uh, those uh, back checkers split, so he's only looking at 8 and 9, um, which I think is uh, bold rolls in terms of uh, hitting. So Raj is. Uh, Favoured not to get hit if he brings a checker down here. I think this is a very hard play to see, though. I think so yeah. many people would jump at the, the chance to hit that checker. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think key things here, as we've mentioned, gammon save, uh, a two point board versus a one point um, board, the sheer number of return shots, like they hit there five, six, four, six, three, six, two, six, one, six, five, one, four, one, three, one, two, one, double three, you know, kind of like it's double two. It's just, you know, kind of everything is kind of hitting. Um, so, you know, and, and you just don't want to be. I mean, I, I, I don't think mean, it's. It, it takes thinking about it. I think Raj will play 13 to 10, though. Um, well, he is taking his time over this. And very he important, very important. Play. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and I think, Zoe, you're right. Most people will play this almost automatically. And he does play the 13 to 10. I go with this, absolutely. So, Andy's going to want to have a 6, really. 
Um, this, this is a double two. double two. Double two. Double two now. Double two difficult two decision. Good. Well, difficult decision because he can make his uh, prime. He can cover that block or he can hit. I'm, I'm, I'm for hitting here, I have to say. I think so. Yeah, and he goes. Like oh, oh, oh no, no, I don't like this. I don't know. I don't think that's a tough play. It's no, a tough, tough I don't play. like this. 4 1. Yeah, you see, this lets Raj get away way too much here. And also, the, the making the high anchor is play. Um, to save if the you're gammon, worried about, exactly. if you're worried yeah. about losing the gammon. And quite often, that play was right to save the gammon, but there's no gammon price, as you say, and I just I couldn't play that. 6 5. So Raj is going to make points in board here, and he, as we talked about earlier, to keeping the volatility low. It's kind of a standard mutual yeah. holding game, isn't it? I mean, you know, what's going to happen here is they're going to bring their checkers around, they're going to build their boards, and someone's going to hope for a big double to disengage. That's the, you know, that's, that's really what's going to happen here. This is a six-five. Raj means business. He's taking his jacket off, <laughs> making himself comfortable. There we get to have a little stretch there. You know. Well, it's very important when you're sat at a backgammon board to, you know, your body gets contorted a little bit, there's pressure, and it's important to keep your body relaxed and... 2-1, uh, 2-1, um... so just yeah. So again, we see Raj, yeah, absolutely. Raj is more than happy to make these big plays and realises at the moment it is, it's not... And in, in, in backgammon, we talk about playing aggressive plays, but it's well-timed aggression, isn't it? You know, it's knowing when to play the big plays. So this looks like it's a 4-1, three, one. Three, one, three one is it, yeah. And I think he was right in his first instinct there just to make the ace point here. Um, he's trying to see if he can do anything here that sort of creates, I think, um, some friction. But I think he just have to put here. Oh no, he can't, he can't break this point. Yeah, I mean, these are very similar kind of positions at the moment. I don't, oh, I don't no, this is my... And, and it's interesting there. And, 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 he, and he should have gone with his first instinct. His first instinct was absolutely right. And it's often the way when you overthink these things, you ignore your first instinct. Now, Raj is thinking, Andy's left me that double blotting ball. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Opposed to yeah, a three-point yeah. ball. Yeah. Um, from that point of view. I, I get the feeling, I'm looking at Raj's body language, he's quite enjoying himself now. Yeah, uh, up until this point, it's been um, he knows that how close he is to winning this situation. So, but he again taking a long time about this move. Do we? So, is it a six, six five? It yeah, six, six five. five. Yeah, as I say, just taking advantage of that double blossom board and, and and not wanting to break his own anchor. So, what's Andy got? He needs a kind of a two one. Five one or a two one? It can't be a two one because otherwise he would play as yeah, you say. Really so it's a five one. Yeah. Five one. So it's an easy play here, Brad. A four one. Yes, and one. And he'll play down to yeah. and just leave his block. So he's got a nice little formation. And this is exactly the sort of game that Andy didn't want. Andy wanted something with volatility and gammons in it. He didn't want to you know, Raj is, this is, and this is precisely the game Raj wants to play at this group. So. And they, I, I could just have made the two point there and come off to seven. I think that might have been right rather than leave the, the, the shot. I'm with you. And, yeah. So Andy's really looking at double five, double six. We haven't in this match seen so the last couple of games any big sort of equity swing double six. It's so often at this stage we see these big rolls come and it's like wow. And it, it, it could well be there. Oh, this is a roll. Double three, it's a double three. This is terrible for, for Raj. This is, uh, he's just going to have to, now he's going to think about, I think he may well play four to one here. No, so he'll come to the six. I yeah, he will come to the six. six. Yeah, he'll get, you know, he'll get the crossovers, yeah. Keeps the yeah, 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 absolutely. Now I've got a feeling this could be a 6-5 six, five here. 6-5, six, six, five. Five. wow. Well, for me it's pretty easy, it's 2-out. Yeah, it's 2-out. Like, this two is out. definitely 2 It's going to need some indirect shots. Not a lot of shots, again, probably about 11, 12 uh, number of shots, but it's 2-out. It's just everything else yeah. is awful. With nothing else plays, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely nothing else plays. And obviously worst of both worlds versus double six or double four. But, uh, I don't know why I'm thinking of that here. I don't know. It's, um, well, I mean, he's probably thinking 13-2 or something, isn't he? But uh, I don't really get the point of that play because then you allow just your opponent to hop out. Yeah, which is exactly what Raj you, you would do. We need to control the outfield. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, you, you don't want to get hit against that four-point board. I mean, you're sad when you get hit, but I know you can't play this. You can't play this. 4-1. One. So Raj is probably going to play six to one here. I suggest. Will he come out of this day? Six to one. Why would you? I wouldn't. No, I don't think he would. I'll come out next game. But there's no builders on him. 
I would agree with you. I think he's well, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, he's, yeah, out, he's yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, actually. There's no builders on. I think the key thing is he's only got threes and sort of double one, double two that causes any real damage. But it's yeah, so six, interesting five. because Raj making a play has taken away Andy's chance to come out. Yes, yes. So now it's exactly. dangerous for Andy to come exactly. out, whereas if he'd come out last go, and he has to, he's got nothing else to play. So I think this is a 2-1. Look as closely as I can. It's a two-two. It's a two-two. Wow! Well, well this, this is fantastic. A switch. This is a switch, switch and then the yeah, yeah. So this looks clear, doesn't it? I mean, you're gonna make the five-point board. And this is what Andy. What, what Andy wants to do. Yeah. So there's so no, there's no play. So yeah. Seven, three, and then six, four, six, yeah. four. Must be. Yeah. Uh, must be the play. Yeah. So maybe Andy's thinking about bringing his uh, his anchor out. I guess. Um, but again, Mark and again, he's having some water. <laughs> and hoping that, that, that Andy doesn't make the switch play and, uh, and cover the four point uh, is, uh, I guess, what Raj is thinking here at the moment. And of course, with that switch play and, and making that four point, he increases his gamut opportunities massively again. If Raj fans for a couple of rolls, you never know. So I don't, yeah, I don't checker. see many gamins here, but well, you never know. Pick up that second checker. Exactly. You know, yeah. Have him not come in, pick up the second checker. Yeah, I can see it. An important decision though, it's a good a good point I think to stop and take stock. Yeah. Not I think Andy's gonna make the right move. Oh. oh it wasn't a double um, two. Oh sorry. <laughs> we apologize. We got all two. excited there. Well, we doing, wasn't it? it wasn't actually we were discussing our own moves. That's <laughs> okay. Yeah. Six two. So I'm pretty sure Raj will come out here. And now he'll just be looking at to reduce the number of shots. So he he'll he'll, he'll be calculating um, that Andy's uh, uh, five point is ten and eleven uh, pips away. Um, and doesn't want to increase by moving those two any further up, and he doesn't mind a spare on his four. So Andy now needs a 10 or 11. Um, this is a 9, I think. Which is not good. 5 4. Yeah. So that is the 4. Yeah. Oh, and, and again, I mean, it's not. Yeah. I think he has to play that. Just, uh, yeah. But that was the problem, you know, as you pointed out earlier, Zoe, that Raj got control of that outside board by playing that big move in terms of leaving uh, that single shot. And that's what's so great about watching such strong players is watching them seize the initiative. Absolutely. I think that's very important. Okay, so Raj isn't leaving any shots at this stage. This is belt and braces. He doesn't. What we have here is that he's Andy's looking for a super. What we call a joker. So it's a it's a it's a it's a, a roll which is like double five, um, where he hits and. and, and uh, and puts Raj on the bar. And so Raj is just going to try and keep this game as simple as possible from, from here on in. You won't see any hero, hero moves from Raj now. Yeah, I mean, the, the, you know, the, the key point here is that Andy's got a five point board. Yeah. And when your opponent's got a five point board, it demands a little bit of respect. <laughs> I don't think he's going to. Well, here he can't break his five point board, as you say, it's really important. I th I, I'm not sure what the role is here. And it's 2 1, I think. Oh, is it? It's pretty horrible. It is horrible. I know, it's not 2 1, it's a 4 1. It is a 4 1. Oh, you can't break your four point board. I think Andy has to. He's got some duplication. Is there some duplication here? No, there isn't. Which is unfortunate. A lot of players will look for them. Yeah, I mean. I think I'm brave. You know, Raj has got a blotting board. Um, Six four, this is. Not great so role. this is not a great <laughs> role at all. No. But it's fine. It plays. Raj doesn't mind this. He's just quite happy to play this quietly. But he couldn't break that. that what he would have been looking to do four, is to, to move that uh, back point. Uh, but couldn't because it was blocked by. Uh, so I think Andy is going to come out now. He has to now. He has no choice. Could, especially because Raj has this blot on his one point as well. You mentioned duplication. I mean, you could have some duplication of the fives to cover, fives to hit. And I what mean, Andy's uh, doing here is destroying any racing chances. Andy still has some racing chances here. Um, and by wasting these checkers to the one, two, and three point, he's, he's killing his racing chances. So, so now he's forced out with the six. So I think this is probably 6-1 or something. Six, I think it's a 6-2. You definitely know it's not 6-4, yeah, yeah. it's 6-2. Raj is kind of thinking double one, I think, in his own mind here. This is a 4-2, so he will hit yeah. because yeah. he's so weak, his board is so oh, weak absolutely. now. He's a three-point board against a four-point board with a blot in board. And Andy's going to be just thinking ones. <laughs> yeah, exactly, he'll be thinking ones. Um, Raj, I think, will be worrying a little bit about the double hit here. Yeah. He doesn't want to get hit twice. But isn't it interesting in this position, Raj has been very comfortable with this game because of the lack of volatility right away. But look at Raj now, he's now slightly concerned because there is some volatility into, into the game, which is precisely what he doesn't want. He's thinking about yeah. this because he's, yeah, he, 
And interesting, he's avoided bringing that checker down, which for me, I would have swept that down straight away. Well, again, it's this balance, isn't it, of yeah. the flexibility versus the safety. You don't want to be hit. So this six, is six oh, one. This is so clear, eight, isn't it? There you go. So five, five two. two. Five two is what Ali needs. Three two. No, no. This is so. Easy. Three three, I think. One. So you just clear this now. Two. So yeah, and he, he will just oh, clear no, this. He'll look at the. Uh, he he'll think about this though. Yeah, it is right to clear, but he leaves double six, double five. Unless, but if Andy rolls any six or any five, Thingies, it's if pretty he rolls much over. over. Six or five match over, and if he does roll the double six or double five, he's taken a lot of checkers off. Absolutely. Yeah. Against a weak opponent board. So Raj, quite correctly here, needs an even number on the back again. Well, There's no bad numbers. It's looking like this could well be Raj. I yeah. think this is, uh, this is his 11th win in a row, isn't it, Mark? It's absolutely fantastic. And, and do not That's underestimate well. that, ladies and gentlemen. To win 11 games of backgammon in a row is... Uh, an Lucky. amazing <laughs> I'll let Ross know that you said that. Uh, I was going to say he shows what, what a class player he is. Uh, and, and of course, if he does win this, it won't be over for him because he still has potentially two more matches in the professionals to play. And a very exciting uh, semi-final between two top British players in uh, Raj and uh, Julian Petlein. I know we're very much looking forward to that and we'll be commentating on Fantastic. that. Fantastic. Uh, well I can see Julian standing behind us. Congratulations, so. Raj. Oh, they, they they've just completed. Oh,